Hi, my name's Paul. It's time to do a little home tinkering. This little device is something I recently bought for the smart home. It's the Shelly Plus H&T Humidity and Temperature. I haven't yet really properly unboxed it and had a bit of a walk through and a talk through and a close look at it. So let's do that today. So here it is, Shelly Plus H and T. Let's get rid of the paperwork. And there we are. Now normally you'll see a temperature reading there. This is actually got no power on it at the moment, but I did earlier on in the week attach a USB C cable onto this, and so it started to power up, and so it was turning into uh, access point mode going into setup but you know I thought I wanted to explore it a little more here with you now so unplugged told it to wait now in here is a little stand so yes you can put the stand in there how's that clip in it should be up that way right There we go. So, something like that. <laughs> I don't want to clip it in. And then you'll have your... I don't want the stand right now. I'm not going to force that on. Look, the first thing you notice about this is it's super light. It actually takes four AA batteries in the back. Or you can power it from a USB-C connector. I'll plug it in in a few moments. But, uh, well, let's do it now, and let's, there's not much more to look at this thing. So it has an e-paper graphic display. Now, it should eventually time out from this sort of setup mode, and then it'll just show a temperature reading. And, look, there's a little bit of funny marketing when you read about the way this works so if we have a look at what the display will eventually come to it'll give you how much battery power is there uh, temperature and it talks about you know the sensitivity of the device when reading temperature so here you see oh wow 22.1 degrees but actually in the specifications i can't find any error rating so it might read 22.1 percent but if it's give or take a degree well what's the accuracy really of the temperature you can't say the accuracy is down to point something of a degree Celsius without knowing what the error accuracy rate is. Um, and, and there's another funny thing too. You actually can see in the specification, it says that this sensor is able to read down to about minus 40 degrees Celsius and well over 100 degrees Celsius. However, the operating temperature of the device only between 0 and 40. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? Good job. <laughs> so there is a sensor that is capable of measuring minus and very hot temperatures, but the rest of this device, no, can't do it. And it also says, for example, with humidity, that it can read between 0 and 100% humidity, but the operating conditions and temperature, or sorry, the operating range for humidity for this device, it's only rated between 30 and 70. So that's a bit weird. But yes, um, it is uh, able to connect onto a Wi-Fi network. You can also connect to it with some Bluetooth. And it should eventually time out after about three minutes or so, and then it'll just come up with a, a temperature there. But I will look another thing I'm not so happy with here. If I just unplug that, you can see it keeps the uh, display active, even though the device is powered off. So that's kind of cool. I mean, obviously, it's quite good on power saving. So when the device registers a different temperature or different humidity, it's going to update the display, and then everything stays static until the device updates itself again. But it feels very, uh, well, it is plastic, but it feels very plasticky, and it's this kind of 
hard plastic and I kind of feel like you start opening and you're going to end up scratching and dinting this. I've seen a few other people comment the same thing. So now if you do run it on batteries, also read some comments that says the device won't update until it's had a one degree change in temperature. Obviously I can test that. Uh, but if you power it off uh, USB C, then it should update at least once every 10 minutes. Well, that's it for today. I'll do a few more tinkering videos on this little device. One, getting it set up and ready to go, and also integrating it into Home Assistant soon enough. So, I'll see you next time.